Hey future physicians, Dr. Daniel Wynn here, back with another advice video to help you crush step one. In this video, we'll talk about a hot topic, how to study efficiently and effectively for step one. We're gonna compare and contrast that versus what I did in 2016, which was horrible, compared to what I learned over the years to help improve and make an effective study plan just for you. Eight years ago, which seemed like a long time, I was in MS2. Step one was a little bit different back then. It was scored. It was very heavily oriented on buzzword and keywords. And memorization was the key to success. There was definitely similarities to the test today, though. Mountains of resource, 12 plus hours of daily studying, lack of sleep, anxiety, and obviously the thought of, am I studying the right thing at all? I personally studied 13 to 14 hours daily, bounced from resource to resource, and constantly felt like I had little direction on what to study and how to study. I still scored in the top 90th percentile due to the brute force of my studying, but I knew even back then that there had to be a better way. Fast forward to today. I've had over six years tutoring medical students under my belt for step one, step two, and step three. I've gone through tons of resources, including test banks, textbooks, and video resources with students. I'm happy to say I've developed a streamlined approach that focuses on quality over quantity. Four weeks, eight to 10 hours a day, three resources. Less stress, better scores, happier you. That's the goal. So what are these three magical resources? First up, your bread and butter, first aid. It's like the Bible step one. And knowing it inside and out is non-negotiable. It's a must. Next, we have Pathoma. Dr. Sattar, the legend himself, with his videos that make pathology not only understandable, but actually enjoyable. Trust me, you'll be thanking me later. And lastly, for practice questions and high yield notes, we have, of course, MD Boost. It's got everything you need to test your knowledge and reinforce key concepts. Plus, our text and video explanations are top notch. That's all you need, three resources. Now let's talk about the study day briefly. It can only be eight to 10 hours a day, right? I know it sounds too good to be true, but hear me out now. It's all about staying focused and using active learning. Keep on a tight hour to hour schedule to stay efficient and effective. The hour to hour schedule can be found in the link below on mdboost.app. Briefly summarizing, you will start the day by warming up your brain with MD Boost High Yield Notes, which help you follow your first aid readings. The schedule will also direct your first aid and pathoma readings. This will allow you to get two different perspectives on the same topic to really reinforce your knowledge and get your repetitions in. Then of course, a 40 question block from MD Boost around the schedule to solidify and apply your knowledge by doing questions. Practice makes perfect. For more detailed breakdown of the schedule, take a look at my USMLE Efficiency is Key Study Three Times More Material Per Hour video. Consistency is key. Stick to the plan, avoid distractions, and most importantly, believe in yourself. You've got this. Remember, step one is just one step in your journey to becoming a doctor. Don't let it consume you. Take care of yourself, prioritize your mental health, and find a study approach that works for you. The mental component of studying is also key. Strive to be the best physician you can be and aim to do well, not just pass. With this mentality, there is no way you will fail if you're aiming to do well. Just imagine step one is scored again. If you found this video helpful, smash that like button and subscribe for more tips and tricks. Leave a comment below with your favorite study resources and let's help each other succeed. Until next time, stay focused, stay motivated, and happy studying.